Hey everyone, welcome to volume one of Burgers in Real Life, Real Life Burger Reviews. I'm Matt McKenna, founder of Burgers in Real Life. Today we're going to do burger review number one. Location today, McDonald's Express in Stratford. Right beside the shit plant. Right on the water, nice location. Pretty busy in there today, pretty long line up. Probably six or seven cars in front of me. Speed of service was really good, you know, I was, from the time I pulled into the lineup, till the time I made my order, paid for it, and walked away, drove away with my food. Four minutes, so. Can't complain about that. On the menu today, one junior chicken and one cheeseburger dressed as a Big Mac. No fucking regular hamburgers in this joint. Cheeseburgers are all the way. Now, I'm fairly certain this is going to be a tasty motherfucking burger, but they aren't known for being the prettiest burgers when you pull them out of the wrapper. Especially from the Express. And when you go with just a chicken or just a cheeseburger, you don't get a fancy box. No fancy boxes at McDick's when you get just the chicken or just the cheeseburger. No fancy boxes. What do we got? Little bag here. A little bit of lettuce flying around. Just washed the truck yesterday. Great. So we got a junior chicken, junior cheese, dressed as a Mac. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Let's do the unveiling. See how she looks here. Like a champ. Just as advertised. That's a chee right there. McDonald's known for having a nice soft bun. Everybody loves a McChicken sauce. That's a good fucking burg. For three bucks, that's a good fucking burg. Soft, flavorful. I gotta thank my buddy Mike Thompson at Odyssey Virtual for reminding me to dress every cheeseburger that comes from McDonald's as a Big Mac, whether it's a Big Mac or not. Thanks, Mike. Good call, whether it's a McDouble, a McSingle, a fucking McTriple, Big Mac all the way. In fact, I should be keeping some Mac sauce in the truck at all times, even when I go to Wendy's. I'll have a good burger from Wendy's too, but. This burger, based on its simplicity, Overall value, taste, speed of service. It's up there. It really is. I can't even discriminate on the presentation. I don't fucking care. It's delicious. It's a nine all the way. All the way. I don't even care that I don't have fries. On to the McChicken. Junior chicken. Boom. What a beauty. Behold. The junior chick. Again, paper-based wrapper. Okay. Not quite as advertised. But I got a good feeling about it. All right, what do we got? Mayo, McChicken sauce, um, a few strands of lettuce, not a ton. You know, veggies may be in short supply right now, pandemic and all. A nice looking piece of chick and a dry bun. All right, let's see what we're, what we're working with here. Every, one bite, everyone knows the rules.
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like the odd McChicken. They got a nice peppery coating on the chicken. It's nice and peppery. And uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. You know, I can't... This frustrates me. How are you going to go dry bun? You got to... I know it's how you keep your burgers at a, at a reasonable price. I get it. But I'm a layer guy. I'm a flavored, flavored layers kind of guy. I need some layers. So the dry bun holds it back a little bit. But like I said, the peppery coating on the chicken is nice. I like it. It's nice and hot. You got to get these bad boys hot, in my opinion. Nice and steamy. <laughs> I'm going to go 8.2 on the McChick. Remember, my burgers are rated on a scale that takes into account multiple factors. Value, presentation, taste, layers, ease of eating it, proportion, right? I like the proper meat to bun ratio. Very important. I don't like I like a bit of mess, but I can't get down with a slop fest. Right? Come on, right? Those are my reviews today for the McEso in Stratford. Right off the bridge on the water. Fast, efficient, friendly service. It's McDonald's. It ain't expensive. Tastes good. Pretty solid. See you next time.